Here's the first part of the lesson on determining whether, a point, whether or not a point is on a line. And in this type of question, you're going to be asked to f determine whether a coordinate lies on a particular line. And that means that the coordinate has to satisfy the equation of the line. Now, by that, we're going to, and the way we're going to determine that is we're going to look at the left side of the equation. Now, the left side of our equation up here is y. So we're just going to put down that left side is equal to y. Now we've got to sub into our equation here. So left side is equal to y. Now from the ordered pair, recall that the first term is the x-coordinate and the second is the y-coordinate in the ordered pair. So that means that our y is equal to 6. So we're going to sub that in for y. So the 6 comes from the ordered pair. Next, we're going to take a look at the right-hand side of this equation, y equals 4x minus 2, and the right side then is just the 4x minus 2. Now we're going to sub in for our x coordinate and we're going to get that from the ordered pair. And so we're going to sub in 2 for x. So our next line is going to be just subbing in 2 for x in brackets. So we have 4 times 2 minus 6, which is 8, or sorry, 4 times 2 minus 2, which is 8 minus 2, which is equal to 6. So now you'll note that the, the left side is equal to 6 when we sub in, and the right-hand side is equal to 6. So that means that the coordinates 2, 6 satisfy the equation of the line, and that means that 2, 6 is a point on the, on the line. Now, what you're probably wondering is what all this means. And so what we're going to do is to take a look at the example we just looked at graphically, and we're going to put y equals 4x minus 2 on a grid, and determine whether or not this point is on the line. And what we have to remember from before is that in the equation y equals mx plus b, m is the slope, so the slope here is 4, and the b is the y-intercept, so the y-intercept here is negative 2. So we're going to plot, first of all, our y-intercept on the y-axis, so we know that since b is negative 2, the line is going to cross the y-axis at negative 2. So we plot our point at 0, negative 2. Next, what we've got to do is, since the slope is 4, and remember that 4 is equal to 4 over 1, we're going to, from this point, graph a line with a rise of 4 and a run of 1, because this is 4 over 1, which is rise of 1, 4 over 1. So we're going to go up 4 over 1 and plot our point. And we're going to plot another point, so we're going to go up 4 over 1, plot another point. We could also go down 4, which is negative 4, and to the left 4, or to the left 1, so that's negative 4 over negative 1, and negative 4 over negative 1 is just 4 as well, so we can plot a point from negative 2 down 4 to the left 1. And we can uh, graph the line, and so this is our graph of y equals 4x minus 2. Now, what I want you to take a note of is we want to know if 2, 6 was on the line. And if we go to the coordinate 2 and 6, and you'll note that this is the point that lies right on the line, which we determined algebraically before. So the point 2, 6 does lie on the line y equals 4x.